Have you ever found yourself sharing too much with others, only to feel regret later? What if keeping things to yourself could bring you more peace and happiness? Imagine a day where you don't feel the pressure to explain yourself to everyone around you. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to feel like we have to share everything. But what if the key to a happier life is to embrace silence? Buddhism teaches us that sometimes, less is more. By keeping some thoughts and feelings to ourselves, we can protect our inner peace and cultivate a deeper understanding of who we are. For example, think about a time when you faced a challenge. Maybe you shared your struggles with friends, only to feel more stressed as their opinions piled up. Now, picture how different it could have been if you had taken a step back and reflected quietly on your own. This simple shift can lead to clarity and calm. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. This channel is dedicated to exploring profound ideas that can change your life. Today, we dive into the power of keeping things to yourself. As we journey together, you will discover valuable insights and transformative advice that can help you find balance and tranquility. Remember, there are so many views on this channel, but only 0.2% subscribe. So, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together and learn how to cultivate the power of silence in our lives. Get ready for insights that can change the way you communicate and connect with yourself and others. Let's begin. Understanding the value of privacy and inner peace. In a world buzzing with noise and constant chatter, it's easy to forget the value of privacy. Many people think sharing everything will help them connect more deeply with others. But the truth is, sometimes holding back can lead to greater peace and clarity. Privacy is not about hiding. It's about protecting your inner self. Imagine a calm pond. When the water is still, you can see your reflection clearly. But when there are ripples and waves, everything becomes distorted. Your mind is like that pond. When you share too much, you create ripples that can cloud your thoughts and feelings. The quieter you are, the more you can see who you truly are. Buddhism teaches us that understanding ourselves is a journey. When we focus on our inner thoughts without the distractions of others' opinions, we can find wisdom within. This wisdom guides us in our actions and decisions. Think about a time when you faced a tough choice. Did you find clarity by discussing it with everyone around you? Or did taking a moment alone help you make a better decision? Privacy also allows us to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness is being aware of the present moment without judgment. When you keep your thoughts to yourself, you can observe them more clearly. You can ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Or, what do I really want? This self-inquiry leads to a deeper understanding of your emotions and motivations. Let's consider a daily example. You might be at work, and a colleague asks about your personal life. Instead of sharing everything, you can choose to give a simple answer that protects your privacy. By doing this, you maintain control over your own narrative. You decide what to share and what to keep private. This small act can help you feel more empowered and centered. Another aspect of privacy is emotional safety. Sharing too much can leave you vulnerable. It's important to create a safe space for yourself, where you can express your feelings without fear of judgment or misunderstanding. Think of your emotions as delicate flowers. If you share them with the wrong person, they might not appreciate their beauty, or worse, they might trample them. Keeping some thoughts to yourself allows those feelings to grow and blossom in a safe environment. The practice of keeping things to yourself also encourages self-reliance. When you constantly seek validation from others, you may lose sight of your own worth. Learning to trust yourself and your instincts is a powerful skill. Buddhism emphasizes self-sufficiency. You can find strength within rather than relying on others for approval. This doesn't mean you should never share. It's perfectly fine to discuss important matters with trusted friends or family. The key is to choose wisely who to share with and when. Not everyone needs to know every detail of your life. By being selective, you maintain your inner peace and avoid unnecessary drama. As you practice keeping some thoughts private, you may notice a change in your energy. You might feel lighter and more in control. This practice can lead to reduced anxiety as you are not constantly worrying about how others perceive you. It's liberating to understand that your value does not depend on others' opinions. Buddhism teaches the importance of balance. Just as we need to share, we also need to hold back. 
Finding this balance allows us to navigate our relationships more smoothly. You can still connect with others while preserving your own boundaries. In summary, understanding the value of privacy is essential for inner peace. By protecting your thoughts and emotions, you create a calm and clear space for reflection. This not only helps you understand yourself better, but also empowers you to navigate life's challenges with confidence. Next time you feel the urge to share everything, pause for a moment, ask yourself if it's necessary, or if keeping it to yourself might lead to more peace. Embrace the power of silence and enjoy the journey of self-discovery. The art of mindfulness, controlling what you share. In the journey of life, our words carry great power. Every word we choose can shape our reality, our relationships, and even our sense of self. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and aware, and it plays a crucial role in how we communicate. By mastering mindfulness, we can learn to control what we share and when to hold back. Imagine you're having a conversation with a friend. They ask how you are feeling about a recent event. If you react without thinking, you might spill your thoughts and feelings, leaving you feeling exposed. But what if instead, you paused for a moment? This simple pause allows you to reflect on what you truly want to convey. When we practice mindfulness, we become aware of our thoughts before we express them. This awareness gives us the opportunity to decide what to share and what to keep to ourselves. It's like a filter for our minds. Instead of letting emotions overflow, we choose our words carefully. One important aspect of mindfulness is understanding the intention behind our words. Why do we feel the need to share certain thoughts? Is it to seek validation, to connect, or to vent frustration? By examining our motivations, we can determine whether sharing will truly benefit us or our listener. Sometimes, the best choice is to hold back and reflect on our feelings privately. Mindfulness also helps us navigate challenging emotions. When faced with anger or sadness, it's easy to react impulsively. But with mindfulness, we learn to recognize these feelings without judgment. Instead of rushing to share them, we can take a step back, breathe, and explore our emotions inwardly. This practice fosters emotional resilience and allows us to respond more thoughtfully. Let's consider a daily scenario. You're at work, and the colleague criticizes your project. Instinctively, you might feel defensive and want to explain yourself immediately. But what if instead, you practiced mindfulness? You could take a moment to breathe, recognize your feelings, and choose your response carefully. This pause can turn a potentially heated exchange into a calm discussion. Moreover, practicing mindfulness can deepen our relationships. When we listen mindfully to others, we show them respect and understanding. We create a safe space for open communication, where both parties feel valued. By being present, we learn to discern when to share our thoughts and when to listen. In Buddhism, there is a concept called right speech. This teaching encourages us to speak truthfully and kindly. By combining mindfulness with right speech, we cultivate a way of communicating that is both authentic and compassionate. We begin to share only what is necessary and helpful, avoiding gossip or harmful words. As we embrace the art of mindfulness, we can also practice gratitude. Recognizing the positive aspects of our lives helps us to focus on what truly matters. Instead of sharing every small detail, we can choose to express gratitude for the meaningful experiences. This shift in perspective enriches our conversations and enhances our connections. Mindfulness is not just about controlling what we share. It's also about understanding ourselves better. The more we practice, the more we learn about our thoughts, emotions, and triggers. This self-awareness allows us to navigate life with greater ease, making conscious choices about our words and actions. In our quest to keep some thoughts to ourselves, we must also remember the importance of sharing when it is appropriate. Mindfulness teaches us balance. It encourages us to discern when to open up and when to remain silent. This discernment comes with practice and patience. To cultivate mindfulness, we can engage in simple practices like meditation. Sitting quietly for a few minutes each day allows us to observe our thoughts without judgment. We learn to recognize the stories we tell ourselves and how they influence our desire to share. This practice strengthens our ability to remain centered and present, both in our internal world and in conversations with others. As we explore the art of mindfulness, we can also find value in journaling. 
Writing down our thoughts can serve as an outlet for emotions we may not feel ready to share with others. This private space allows us to reflect and process without the need for outside validation. Ultimately, the art of mindfulness helps us cultivate a sense of inner peace. When we become mindful communicators, we create a ripple effect in our relationships. People feel heard and understood, and we build deeper connections based on trust and authenticity. In conclusion, the practice of mindfulness is essential in learning how to control what we share. It empowers us to be thoughtful in our communication and to choose our words wisely. By embracing this practice, we can foster healthier relationships and create a more peaceful inner world. Let this journey of mindfulness guide you as you learn the art of keeping some things to yourself. Learning detachment, letting go of the need to share. In our daily lives, we often feel a strong urge to share everything with others. This desire can create noise in our minds and make us feel overwhelmed. But what if we learn to let go of that need? Detachment is a powerful practice in Buddhism that teaches us to find peace by not holding on too tightly to our thoughts and feelings. Imagine walking in a park. You see a beautiful flower, and your first instinct is to pick it. But then you realize that by doing so, you might destroy its beauty. In the same way, when we try to hold on to every thought or emotion, we can lose their essence. Letting go allows us to appreciate things as they are, without trying to control or possess them. Detachment doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. Instead, it means creating a space where we can observe our feelings without being attached to them. For example, if you feel sad, instead of sharing that sadness with everyone, take a moment to sit quietly with it. Ask yourself why you feel this way. Understanding your emotions can bring clarity and help you process them more effectively. When we constantly seek validation from others, we tie our happiness to their responses. This can lead to disappointment and frustration. By practicing detachment, we learn to value our own feelings. We become less reliant on external opinions. Imagine sharing an idea with a friend and waiting eagerly for their approval. If they don't react positively, it can feel crushing. But if you detach from that need for approval, you can enjoy the process of sharing without fear of judgment. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of self-awareness. By being aware of our thoughts and feelings, we can choose what to share and what to keep to ourselves. This doesn't mean hiding our true selves. It means being selective about what we express. For instance, during a conversation, if someone asks how you're feeling, you can share what feels right without diving into every detail. This helps maintain your peace while still being honest. Detachment also helps us navigate conflicts. In arguments, we often want to express our hurt or frustration. However, letting go of the need to vent everything can lead to healthier communication. Instead of reacting immediately, take a breath and reflect on what truly matters. This pause can help you respond with kindness rather than anger. Sometimes, we might feel pressure to share personal stories or experiences. Society often encourages openness, but that doesn't mean we have to share everything. It's okay to keep some things private. Think of a diary where you write your thoughts. It's your space, and you don't have to share it with anyone. This can be a source of comfort and clarity. Another aspect of detachment is recognizing that our thoughts are not who we are. We often identify ourselves with our feelings and experiences. However, by practicing detachment, we learn that we are more than our thoughts. This realization can bring great freedom. When a negative thought arises, instead of reacting to it, observe it. Ask yourself, is this thought true? This practice can help diminish its power over you. In Buddhist meditation, practitioners often focus on the breath. This simple act brings us back to the present moment and helps clear the mind. When distractions arise, we learn to acknowledge them and let them go. This process mirrors how we can approach our thoughts in daily life. Instead of clinging to every thought, we can gently release them, allowing for more peace and clarity. Detachment also nurtures self-compassion. When we let go of the need to share everything, we create space to be kind to ourselves. Instead of criticizing ourselves for our feelings, we can accept them. This acceptance fosters a loving relationship with ourselves, allowing us to heal and grow. When we practice detachment, we become more resilient. Life is full of ups and downs, and by learning to let go of our need to share every detail, we can navigate challenges with grace. 
Instead of feeling overwhelmed by negativity, we can find strength in our inner silence. Ultimately, detachment is about balance. It's not about shutting ourselves off from the world, but about choosing how much we reveal. This practice encourages us to cultivate deeper connections with ourselves and others. When we are comfortable in our silence, we can listen more deeply and connect more authentically. In summary, learning to detach from the need to share is a powerful tool for finding peace in our lives. It helps us appreciate our thoughts and feelings without being consumed by them. By practicing this detachment, we create space for self-awareness, resilience, and compassion. So, the next time you feel the urge to share everything, pause and consider what truly serves you. Let go and embrace the beauty of keeping some things to yourself. The role of meditation in managing thoughts and emotions. In the busy world we live in, our minds can feel like a crowded room filled with noise. Every thought, worry, and feeling competes for our attention. This is where meditation steps in as a powerful tool to help us find calm and clarity. Meditation is not just about sitting quietly, it's a way to connect with our inner selves. When we take a few moments to sit in silence, we give ourselves a gift of space. In this space, we can observe our thoughts without judgment. Imagine watching clouds drift by in the sky. Each thought is like a cloud. It comes and goes. By practicing meditation, we learn not to cling to these thoughts or let them overwhelm us. Many people think they need to clear their minds completely, but that's not the goal. Instead, meditation teaches us to acknowledge our thoughts and emotions. When a thought arises, we can simply say, ah, there it is, and then let it pass. This practice helps us become less reactive and more thoughtful in our responses. In Buddhism, meditation is a way to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness means being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts and feelings without getting lost in them. When we meditate regularly, we train our minds to be more focused. This focus helps us when we feel the urge to share too much with others. Instead of immediately expressing our feelings, we can pause and reflect. Let's consider a practical example. Imagine someone asks you how your day was. Instead of instantly sharing every detail, you can take a breath, reflect for a moment, and respond thoughtfully. This pause allows you to choose what to share based on what feels right in that moment. It's about being intentional with your words. Meditation also helps us manage difficult emotions. When we feel anger, sadness, or anxiety, it can be tempting to express those feelings immediately. However, by meditating, we create a space to understand these emotions better. We can ask ourselves questions like, why do I feel this way? Or, what do I really need in this moment? This self-inquiry brings clarity and prevents us from reacting impulsively. As we practice meditation, we also become more aware of our triggers. Triggers are situations or comments that provoke strong emotional responses. By recognizing these triggers during our meditation, we can prepare ourselves to respond more calmly in real life. For example, if you know that discussing certain topics makes you anxious, meditation can help you develop a strategy to handle those discussions gracefully. Another essential aspect of meditation is its ability to foster compassion, both for ourselves and others. When we take time to sit in silence, we learn to be kinder to ourselves. We realize that it's okay to have thoughts and feelings without needing to share them. This self-compassion translates into our interactions with others. When we approach conversations with a gentle heart, we can listen more deeply and share more meaningfully. Building a regular meditation practice doesn't have to be complicated. Start with just a few minutes each day. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. Over time, you can gradually increase the duration. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to meditate. Just find what works for you. As you develop your practice, you may notice subtle changes in how you communicate. You might find yourself less eager to overshare or to react quickly in conversations. Instead, you'll feel a newfound sense of peace and control over your words. Ultimately, meditation teaches us the importance of listening. When we listen to ourselves, we become better listeners to others. We start to appreciate the value of silence and the power of thoughtful expression. In summary, meditation is a vital practice that helps us manage our thoughts and emotions. It creates a space for reflection, 
allowing us to respond more thoughtfully in our interactions. By incorporating meditation into our daily routine, we cultivate mindfulness, compassion, and clarity. This journey inward empowers us to keep certain things to ourselves, leading to a more balanced and peaceful life. Practicing right speech, choosing words wisely. In the heart of Buddhism lies a powerful teaching, right speech. This idea reminds us that our words carry weight. They can heal, inspire, or hurt. Choosing how we speak is just as important as what we say. By practicing right speech, we can create a more peaceful environment for ourselves and those around us. Have you ever noticed how a kind word can brighten someone's day? When we speak with compassion, we connect with others on a deeper level. Imagine starting your day with a simple compliment to a friend or even a stranger. It costs nothing, yet the impact can be profound. This is the essence of right speech, speaking thoughtfully and kindly. In daily life, we often rush our words. We react without thinking, especially when emotions run high. But what if we paused for a moment before we spoke? Taking a breath can help us choose our words with care. Instead of snapping back in anger, we can express ourselves calmly. This small change can prevent misunderstandings and conflicts. Another key aspect of right speech is truthfulness. It's easy to exaggerate or tell little white lies to make a story more interesting. But honesty is vital for building trust in relationships. When we speak the truth, even when it's difficult, we create a solid foundation for our connections with others. People appreciate authenticity and are more likely to respect us when we are genuine. But truth must be balanced with kindness. There's a saying, just because you can say something, doesn't mean you should. Sometimes, the truth can be harsh. Before sharing it, we should ask ourselves if it's necessary and if it will help or hurt. This practice helps us navigate complex conversations with grace and sensitivity. Listening is just as important as speaking. Often, we're so eager to share our thoughts that we forget to listen to others. When we practice right speech, we also cultivate right listening. This means giving our full attention to others, allowing them to express themselves without interruption. When we listen deeply, we show respect and compassion, which fosters stronger relationships. In a world filled with distractions, it's easy to fall into the trap of careless speech. Social media, for example, can sometimes encourage hasty comments and reactions. But think about how many misunderstandings can arise from a single misinterpreted message. By practicing right speech online, we can create a more positive and supportive space for everyone. Right speech also means avoiding gossip. Sharing rumors may feel like a way to connect, but it ultimately harms everyone involved. When we refrain from gossip, we not only protect others' reputations, but also uphold our integrity. This builds trust within our communities and encourages a culture of respect. When discussing sensitive topics, it's essential to approach them with care. We can express our opinions and beliefs without being aggressive or dismissive. Using I statements can help here. Instead of saying, you're wrong, we might say, I feel differently about this. This approach encourages open dialogue and reduces defensiveness. Silence can be a powerful tool as well. Sometimes, the best response is to say nothing at all. In heated situations, taking a step back and remaining silent allows us to collect our thoughts. This helps us respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Embracing silence can lead to clearer, more constructive conversations. Practicing right speech takes time and effort. It's a skill that develops with mindfulness and intention. Start by being aware of your words. Reflect on how they affect your mood and the feelings of others. Keeping a journal can help you track your communication patterns and identify areas for growth. As you begin to cultivate right speech, you might notice shifts in your relationships. Friends and family may respond positively to your new approach. This encourages a cycle of kindness and respect, creating a nurturing environment for everyone involved. Remember, every word you speak is an opportunity. It's a chance to uplift, encourage, or connect with someone. By being mindful of how you communicate, you can transform your interactions and build a more compassionate world. Ultimately, right speech is about fostering understanding and compassion. It aligns with the core principles of Buddhism, reminding us that our words have the power to heal. When we choose our words wisely, we contribute to a peaceful existence.
both for ourselves and others. In conclusion, embracing right speech can transform our lives. It encourages us to be more thoughtful, compassionate, and respectful. By practicing this principle, we create a ripple effect, inspiring those around us to communicate with kindness. The journey to mastering right speech is ongoing, but each small step leads to a more harmonious life, overcoming the urge to seek validation and approval. In our daily lives, many people feel the need to seek validation from others. This need can be strong, driving us to share our thoughts, feelings, and accomplishments with anyone who will listen. But what if this urge is holding us back from true happiness? Buddhism teaches us that seeking external approval can lead to suffering. When we rely on others to validate our worth, we give away our power. Imagine waking up each day, checking your phone for likes or comments, and feeling anxious if you don't see what you hoped for. This cycle can be exhausting. Instead, what if you turned inward and found your worth within yourself? Think about a flower blooming in the sun. It doesn't worry about how many bees come to admire it. It simply grows and thrives. In the same way, you can learn to appreciate your unique qualities without needing constant approval from others. One effective way to overcome this urge is through self-reflection. Take time each day to sit quietly and observe your thoughts. Ask yourself why you feel the need for validation. Are you trying to impress others? Are you afraid of being judged? Understanding the root of your feelings can help you detach from them. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation, can be incredibly helpful in this journey. When you meditate, focus on your breath and let your thoughts flow by without clinging to them. This practice teaches you that your thoughts do not define you. You are much more than your worries about what others think. As you become more comfortable with yourself, you will notice a shift in how you interact with the world. You will find it easier to keep certain things to yourself, rather than sharing them for approval. You will begin to share only what feels right for you, not what you think will impress others. Another important aspect is learning to celebrate your own achievements. Instead of waiting for others to acknowledge your successes, take a moment to recognize them yourself. Did you finish a challenging project at work? Take pride in that accomplishment. Give yourself a mental pat on the back. This practice helps build self-confidence and reduces the need for external validation. When you stop seeking approval, you create space for deeper connections with others. Instead of focusing on impressing them, you can engage in more meaningful conversations. People can sense when someone is genuinely themselves. They appreciate authenticity, and this can lead to more fulfilling relationships. It's also helpful to surround yourself with supportive people who value you for who you are, not just for your achievements. Choose friends who encourage you to be authentic and who respect your need for privacy. This supportive network will help reinforce your journey to self-acceptance. Remember, everyone has their own insecurities and struggles. When you realize that others also feel the need for validation, it becomes easier to let go of your own. Instead of competing for attention or approval, you can empathize with others. This understanding fosters a sense of community, where everyone feels valued for their true selves. As you continue on this path, practice gratitude. Acknowledge the things you appreciate about yourself each day. This could be your kindness, your creativity, or even your ability to listen. The more you appreciate yourself, the less you will seek that appreciation from others. In the end, Overcoming the urge to seek validation is about embracing who you are. It's about recognizing that your worth does not depend on others' opinions. You are enough just as you are. This realization can be incredibly liberating, allowing you to live more fully in the present moment. As you journey forward, remember to be patient with yourself. This is not an overnight transformation. It takes time to shift your mindset and habits. Celebrate small victories along the way and be gentle with yourself during challenging moments. By cultivating self-acceptance and letting go of the need for approval, you will find a greater sense of peace and freedom. You'll be able to keep your thoughts and feelings to yourself without fear, embracing the quiet strength that comes from within. This is the essence of true happiness, being content in your own skin, no matter what others may say or think. Finding strength in solitude, embracing inner wisdom, in a world filled with noise and distractions, solitude can feel intimidating. Many people shy away from being alone, fearing loneliness or boredom. However, 
Buddhism teaches us that solitude is a powerful tool for self-discovery and inner strength. By embracing solitude, we can connect with our true selves and unlock profound wisdom. Imagine finding a quiet space, free from interruptions. This moment is yours. You can sit comfortably, breathe deeply, and let the world fade away. In this stillness, you can hear your thoughts clearly. It's like tuning in to a radio station where your inner voice plays the music of your soul. When we spend time alone, we give ourselves a chance to reflect. Reflection helps us understand our feelings, desires, and fears. Have you ever noticed how your mind races with thoughts when you are around others? In solitude, those thoughts slow down and clarity emerges. You can ask yourself important questions. What do I truly want? What makes me happy? What burdens do I carry? Buddhism emphasizes the importance of mindfulness during these moments. Being mindful means being fully present. When you're alone, practice focusing on your breath. Feel the air entering and leaving your body. This simple act can ground you and bring peace. It reminds you that you are alive and that every moment is a gift. Moreover, solitude allows us to cultivate resilience. Think of it as a training ground. Just like a weightlifter builds strength by lifting weights, you build emotional strength by facing your thoughts and feelings. When you're alone, you can confront your fears without the pressure of others' opinions. This practice fosters confidence and self-reliance. Another benefit of solitude is the space it creates for creativity. When your mind is free from distractions, ideas can flow more easily. Many artists, writers, and thinkers find inspiration in moments of solitude. By spending time alone, you may discover passions or talents that you didn't know existed. Solitude also encourages us to let go of the need for validation. In social settings, it's easy to seek approval from others. But when you're alone, you learn to trust your own judgment. You become less reliant on others' opinions and more in tune with your inner compass. This shift can be liberating. It empowers you to make choices that truly resonate with you. Buddhism teaches us to appreciate the beauty of solitude. It's not about isolating yourself, but rather about creating a sanctuary within. This inner sanctuary becomes a safe space where you can explore your thoughts and emotions without fear. You learn to embrace your uniqueness and appreciate your journey. Finding strength in solitude doesn't mean you have to cut off connections with others. Instead, it's about balance. You can enjoy the company of friends and family while also valuing your alone time. It's like tending to a garden. You nurture your relationships, but you also need time to care for yourself. In moments of solitude, you may encounter discomfort. It's natural to feel restless or anxious at first, but don't shy away from these feelings. Instead, observe them. Acknowledge their presence without judgment. Over time, you'll find that these feelings pass, leaving you with a deeper sense of peace. Consider setting aside time each week for solitude. It could be as simple as a quiet walk in nature or a few moments of meditation at home. Make this time sacred. Use it to reflect, recharge, and reconnect with yourself. The more you practice solitude, the more you'll appreciate its gifts. As you embrace solitude, remember that you are not alone in your journey. Many people throughout history have sought wisdom in silence. They found strength in their solitude, and so can you. This is a shared experience that connects us all. In conclusion, finding strength in solitude is a journey worth taking. It allows you to cultivate inner wisdom, build resilience, and unleash your creativity. By embracing moments of quiet reflection, you can discover the beauty of your own thoughts and feelings. So, take a step back from the noise and cherish the stillness. In that stillness, you may just find the answers you've been seeking. Transformative Benefits of Keeping Personal Matters Private in our journey through life, we often share our experiences, thoughts, and feelings with others. But what happens when we keep certain matters to ourselves? Embracing privacy can bring profound benefits to our lives, especially when viewed through the lens of Buddhist wisdom. When we choose to keep personal matters private, we create a safe space for ourselves. This space allows us to reflect and understand our feelings better. Imagine a beautiful garden. If we let everyone wander through it, we risk losing its beauty. But when we keep it private, we can nurture it, allowing it to flourish in peace. One of the most significant benefits of keeping things to ourselves is enhanced self-awareness. 
When we don't feel the need to share every detail, we can turn inward. This inward focus helps us identify our true thoughts and feelings, free from external influences. It's like clearing the fog from a window, allowing us to see our true selves more clearly. In Buddhist practice, this self-awareness is crucial. The more we understand ourselves, the better we can navigate life's challenges. By keeping personal matters private, we also reduce the risk of misunderstandings. When we share too much, we open ourselves to misinterpretation. People may draw conclusions based on their experiences rather than our reality. This can lead to unnecessary conflict and stress. Another benefit is emotional protection. In a world filled with opinions and judgments, sharing too much can make us vulnerable. By choosing what to share, we guard our emotions. This doesn't mean shutting people out entirely, rather, it's about creating healthy boundaries. Just like a sturdy wall protects a home, privacy protects our emotional well-being. Keeping personal matters to ourselves also fosters deeper connections with those we trust. When we share selectively, we invite meaningful conversations. Friends or family members who know us well can engage on a deeper level. This creates a space where authentic connections can flourish, built on trust and understanding. Moreover, maintaining some privacy encourages others to do the same. When we respect our own boundaries, we often inspire those around us to respect theirs. This creates a culture of mutual understanding, where everyone feels safe to express their thoughts and feelings at their own pace. Let's not forget the importance of mindfulness in this process. Keeping things to ourselves requires us to be present and aware. We must be mindful of our thoughts before deciding what to share. This practice encourages us to pause and reflect, allowing us to discern what is truly important. In Buddhism, mindfulness is key to living a balanced life. As we keep certain matters private, we cultivate a sense of inner peace. The less we share, the fewer worries we invite into our lives. We can focus on what truly matters, our relationships, our goals, and our personal growth. This sense of tranquility enhances our overall well-being and allows us to approach life with a clearer mind. In addition, privacy can serve as a powerful tool for personal growth. When we keep our aspirations and struggles to ourselves, we can explore them deeply without fear of judgment. This space allows us to experiment with new ideas and perspectives, leading to significant personal development. It's also important to recognize the role of trust in our lives. When we share selectively, we create an environment of trust. People feel valued when we choose to confide in them about specific matters. This mutual respect strengthens relationships and fosters a supportive community around us. Another transformative aspect of keeping things private is the reduction of stress. In our social media-driven world, where everyone seems to share everything, it can feel overwhelming. By stepping back and choosing to keep certain things to ourselves, we can alleviate this pressure. We free ourselves from the need to constantly engage in social conversations that often lead to unnecessary stress. Furthermore, by embracing silence and privacy, we also nurture our creativity. Many great ideas come during moments of reflection. When we're not constantly sharing, we allow our minds to wander and explore new thoughts. This creativity can lead to new projects, solutions, or insights that we might have missed otherwise. Finally, keeping personal matters private aligns with the Buddhist principle of non-attachment. By not clinging to the need for approval or validation from others, we can live more freely. This detachment allows us to pursue our interests and passions without the burden of outside expectations. In summary, the transformative benefits of keeping personal matters private are profound. From enhancing self-awareness to fostering emotional protection, the practice encourages deeper connections and mindfulness. It allows us to cultivate inner peace, personal growth, and creativity while reducing stress and nurturing trust in our relationships. As we navigate our lives, let us remember the power of silence and the beauty that comes from embracing privacy. It is in this space that we can truly discover ourselves and thrive in a world that often feels overwhelming. Keeping things to ourselves is not about isolation. It's about self-discovery and finding harmony within, applying Buddhist teachings to everyday conversations. In our daily lives, conversations are everywhere. Whether at work, home, or with friends, we talk to others all the time. 
But how often do we stop to think about what we say and how we say it? Buddhist teachings offer valuable lessons that can transform our interactions. To start, consider the concept of mindful speech. This means being aware of your words before you speak. Ask yourself, is what I'm about to say true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? This simple practice can help you avoid saying things that might hurt others or yourself. Imagine a moment where you're about to react to someone's comment. Instead of responding immediately, take a breath. Think about how your words might affect the other person. This pause can lead to more thoughtful conversations. Next, let's talk about listening. Buddhism emphasizes the importance of truly hearing what others say. When someone speaks, focus on them completely. Put away distractions, and give them your full attention. This not only shows respect, but also helps you understand their perspective better. You might discover that by listening more, you have less need to share your own thoughts, allowing for a more enriching dialogue. Another key lesson is the idea of non-attachment. In conversations, it's easy to get caught up in needing to be right or to have the last word. However, letting go of this attachment can lead to deeper connections. Imagine a discussion where opinions differ. Instead of clinging to your viewpoint, consider the other person's perspective. You might not agree, but being open to their ideas fosters harmony. Also, remember the concept of compassion. Speaking with kindness and empathy can transform ordinary interactions into meaningful exchanges. When someone is upset, instead of jumping in with solutions, offer a listening ear. Show that you care. This small act can create a safe space for them to share their feelings, and you become a source of support. Furthermore, let's reflect on the power of silence. Sometimes, the best response is no response at all. In a heated moment, taking a step back and choosing silence can prevent conflict. It's okay to hold back your words until you're ready to speak from a place of calm. This practice can protect both your peace and the harmony of the conversation. Buddhism also teaches us about impermanence. Understanding that everything is temporary can change how we communicate. In moments of conflict, remind yourself that this too shall pass. This perspective can help you approach discussions with a lighter heart. You might find it easier to forgive and move on, knowing that the situation is not permanent. Another important aspect is gratitude. Start your conversations by expressing appreciation. It could be a simple thank you or acknowledging the effort someone has made. This sets a positive tone and encourages openness. When people feel valued, they are more likely to engage honestly and openly. Incorporating these teachings into your everyday conversations takes practice. Begin by observing your speaking habits. Are there patterns that lead to misunderstandings? Are you quick to react? As you become aware, you can begin to shift your approach. Try keeping a journal where you reflect on your conversations. What went well? What could have been better? This self-reflection is a powerful tool for growth. As you engage with others, remember that you're not alone in this journey. Everyone is learning and growing. Be patient with yourself and others. It's okay to stumble. What matters is your intention to improve. Each conversation is an opportunity to practice and deepen your understanding of mindfulness. Finally, recognize that applying these Buddhist teachings isn't about perfection. It's about progress. Every small step you take towards mindful communication adds up. Celebrate your efforts, and keep striving to be a better listener and speaker. By integrating these principles into your everyday conversations, you'll not only enhance your interactions but also cultivate a sense of peace and connection with those around you. Embrace this journey, and let the teachings guide you towards more meaningful conversations. Building a habit of inner reflection and self-control. In a world filled with distractions, Building a habit of inner reflection is essential. It's not just about keeping things to yourself. It's about understanding why you choose to share or withhold your thoughts. Inner reflection helps you connect with your true self. It's like holding up a mirror to your mind and heart. Imagine waking up each day and taking a few quiet moments to reflect. You could sit in silence, close your eyes, and breathe deeply. This simple practice allows you to check in with yourself. What are you feeling today? What thoughts are racing through your mind? By asking these questions, you start to recognize patterns in your emotions and thoughts. This process is powerful. It can help you understand why you feel the urge to share certain feelings or experiences. Sometimes, we share to seek approval or avoid discomfort. 
but through reflection, you can learn to sit with your feelings instead of rushing to express them. This doesn't mean you should never share. Rather, it encourages thoughtful sharing. When you practice self-control, you become more aware of your impulses. Think about how often you might blurt something out before thinking. With reflection, you can pause and consider if sharing is necessary or beneficial. This pause creates space for deeper understanding. It allows you to choose your words wisely. Buddhism teaches us about the concept of right action. This means acting in a way that is kind and beneficial. When you reflect before you speak, you align your actions with your values. You become a better listener and a more thoughtful communicator. Your conversations can then become more meaningful. Another effective practice is journaling. Writing down your thoughts can be a great way to reflect. You can ask yourself questions like, what did I learn today? Or, how did I handle my emotions? As you write, you might discover insights you hadn't noticed before. This practice helps clarify your thoughts and feelings, making it easier to decide what to share and when. Meditation is another powerful tool for inner reflection. It teaches you to observe your thoughts without judgment. When you meditate, you train your mind to become still. This stillness allows you to recognize fleeting thoughts and emotions, giving you space to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Over time, meditation builds mental resilience and self-awareness. Creating a daily routine can help you make reflection a habit. Choose a specific time, like in the morning or before bed, to sit quietly and think. This routine signals to your mind that it's time for introspection. You might light a candle, play soft music, or simply enjoy the silence. The key is to create a comfortable space where you can focus on your inner world. As you build this habit, you may notice a shift in your relationships. When you take time to reflect, you become more present in conversations. You listen better and respond with intention. People around you will feel valued and heard. This deepens your connections and fosters trust. It's also important to remember that inner reflection is not about perfection. It's okay to have moments of doubt or confusion. The journey of self-discovery is ongoing. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Each time you reflect, you're taking a step towards greater self-awareness. Self-control is closely linked to this practice. It's about understanding your desires and impulses. When you feel the urge to share something personal, pause and ask yourself why. Are you seeking validation? Or do you genuinely want to connect? This inquiry can lead to a deeper understanding of your motivations. Building self-control takes time and patience. Start small by choosing one aspect of your life to focus on. For example, if you often share your problems with friends, practice keeping some thoughts private. Reflect on how it feels to hold back. You might find that it gives you a sense of empowerment. As you practice, it's crucial to be gentle with yourself. Change doesn't happen overnight. Acknowledge any setbacks without harsh judgment. Instead, view them as opportunities to learn. Each experience contributes to your growth. Creating a supportive environment can also aid your journey. Surround yourself with people who respect your need for privacy. Share your goals with them, so they understand your desire for reflection and self-control. This support can make a significant difference in your journey. Remember, building a habit of inner reflection and self-control is a practice. Like any skill, it requires time and dedication. But with patience, you can cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and your interactions with others. You will find more joy in your connections and greater peace in your mind. In the end, the goal is to strike a balance between sharing and keeping things to yourself. This balance leads to healthier relationships and a more fulfilling life. Inner reflection and self-control empower you to choose wisely, ensuring that your words and actions align with your true self. Conclusion Living a balanced life with inner harmony As we reach the end of this journey together, it's essential to reflect on what we've learned about keeping things to ourselves in the wisdom of Buddhism. This practice is not just about silence. It's about finding inner harmony and balance in a world that often demands our attention and words. Throughout our exploration, we have seen how keeping certain thoughts and feelings private can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves. It allows us to create space for reflection and mindfulness. When we take a moment to pause, we open ourselves up to clarity. We realize that not everything needs to be shared or discussed. 
Sometimes, the most profound insights arise in silence. Think about the moments in your life when you felt overwhelmed by others' opinions. Sharing every detail can cloud your judgment and create unnecessary stress. By choosing what to share, you empower yourself. You gain control over your narrative and can respond to life's challenges with a calm and centered mind. Buddhism teaches us the importance of detachment. This does not mean withdrawing from the world or shutting people out. Instead, it's about letting go of the need for validation. When you share less, you rely more on your own understanding and feelings. This independence nurtures self-confidence and helps you connect with your true self. Meditation plays a crucial role in this journey. When you meditate, you cultivate a quiet space within. In this stillness, you can observe your thoughts without judgment. This practice teaches you to recognize what truly matters to you. It also helps you develop the habit of thinking before speaking. You become more mindful of your words, and you start to see the beauty in silence. Right speech is another fundamental concept in Buddhism. This principle reminds us to speak truthfully, kindly, and at the right time. By being selective about our words, we can enhance our relationships and create a more supportive environment around us. When you choose to speak less, you naturally choose to speak with purpose. Your words become more impactful, and people listen with greater attention. Embracing solitude can be a transformative experience. Many fear being alone, thinking it means loneliness. However, solitude offers a chance to connect with your inner self. In those quiet moments, you can explore your thoughts and feelings without external distractions. This self-exploration is where true growth happens. Consider how you feel after a long day of sharing your life with others. You might feel drained or anxious. Now, think about a day spent in quiet reflection. You might feel lighter, more centered, and at peace. This balance between social interaction and solitude is vital for maintaining emotional well-being. As you practice keeping things to yourself, you may notice a shift in your relationships. Some may find it strange at first. They might question why you are less talkative. However, those who truly care will respect your need for silence. Over time, they may even appreciate your newfound depth and wisdom. Remember, the goal is not to isolate yourself but to create a healthy boundary. This boundary allows you to share only what is necessary while protecting your inner world. It's a delicate dance, one that requires patience and practice. In the end, living a balanced life means recognizing the ebb and flow of sharing and keeping things private. There will be times to open up, to share joys and struggles, and times to hold back, to reflect and listen. This balance fosters deeper connections and enhances your emotional resilience. By adopting these principles from Buddhism, you can navigate life's complexities with grace. You will find that keeping things to yourself can lead to profound insights and a more harmonious existence. It's about creating space for what truly matters, allowing you to engage with the world from a place of clarity and strength. As we conclude this exploration, remember that silence is not empty. It is full of answers. Embrace the power of keeping things to yourself and witness the transformation in your life. Live with intention, cultivate mindfulness, and cherish the moments of stillness. In doing so, you will discover a profound sense of inner harmony that radiates outward, enriching not only your life but also the lives of those around you.